Jack Whalen scored a win on April 23rd when the province committed to changing the Limitations Act. The law was a roadblock to his lawsuit against the provincial and federal governments over alleged abuse at the Whitburn Boys Home and an RCMP lockup. But two days later, the Attorney General of Canada filed a motion to dismiss Whalen's claims. The reason? The very same Limitations Act that the province is now in the process of changing. His lawyer, who is also his daughter, says it appears the feds are trying to get it done before the law changes. The timing is, is unusual. Whalen spent most of his teenage years at the Whitburn Boys' Home, running away any chance he could. He ended up in RCMP custody after one escape and says he was taken to the chambers of a local judge. Whalen says the judge showed him naked pictures of himself and offered to reduce his sentence in exchange for sexual acts. The federal government denies it breached any duty of care to Whalen and says even if it did, the time limit has expired. He was very surprised and disappointed as well. He's, he's not feeling very well right now and after uh, receiving what he thought was a little bit of good news from the Newfoundland and Labrador government, this, um, this was a, a heavy blow for him. MHA Eddie Joyce raised the issue during question period yesterday. Hogan said he couldn't comment on the ongoing court case, but... In terms of legislative priorities for the Department of Justice and Public Safety, this is the number one priority. The hearing for the application for dismissal is set for June 26th. Now, if the law doesn't change before then, Brittany Whalen will have to go before the court and argue against a set of rules that could soon become obsolete. The proposed changes are due for a second reading, but it's unclear when they could come into effect as the government has eight other pieces of legislation to pass this month. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.